I see the ferry is just coming into port here from Newfoundland into North Sydney. I'm down at Indian Beach where there's gonna be the most spectacular sunrise in about an hour, just after I do my UV search for sea glass. What a beautiful sky. What a beautiful morning, albeit a little chilly, and I'm still tired from sleeping. Wow, would you look at that sky already? And here I am with my UV flashlight heading down to the beach. It's, um, yeah, it's still high tide, but, you know, I figured it was worth a shot uh, getting up early just to see this beautiful sunrise that I believe we're having and uh, to look for some UV sea glass on the beach. Now, as I've said before, you can see a lot of different things glowing. A lot of the times it's seaweed, like that orange patch right there. So it's a rather quick excursion because I'm literally just going up the beach and looking for a specific glass, UV glass, which glows underneath this black light. So I'll walk along here up till the end and see if there's anything that uh, pops out like the last time I was here. Stick with me. Well, I haven't gotten very far and I've thought I found some UV sea glass a few times. However, it was just uh, white pieces of, of seashell that were glowing. And I'm coming along and I see the orange and then bam. And I think, wow, look at that huge piece of UV sea glass. However, like I said, many things glow on the beach. There's a piece of seashell right there that's glowing pretty healthily. And then there's this, a piece of bone. So when I found that tooth, I can see now why it was it was glowing. It had the same properties as this piece of bone, likely from a cow or horse or something of the like. But uh, I'm gonna keep going along here and hoping that I find a nice glowy piece of UV sea glass here on the shores of Cape Breton Island. Wow, just beautiful. I'll be back with you momentarily. Well, I'm still going along the beach with my black light and trying to find pieces. And uh, lo and behold, as I'm zigzagging across the beach here, as you can quite easily tell, there's a piece of UV sea glass. It just pops. It is so beautiful when you come across these on the shore and they're just bam. So I'm going to stop the video here, uh, continue my way down the beach, and see what other treasures I can find. This little baby has made it all worth it here in the morning. But burr, is it chilly. Oh, you see what 
I see. Whoa! More UVC glass that obviously I'm going to have to dig through to get to. But there it is, right underneath those little rocks. I'll give you a show of all the sea glass I find here at the end of my adventure. But holding the light and recording at the same time isn't necessarily ideal. So I'll show you guys momentarily what I found here this morning. Well, it's a race against time. Uh, you can see it pretty clearly in the video, this black light. But uh, not as I'm walking along because now the sun is starting to rise slowly in the background. And seeing my UV light is harder and harder so maybe I didn't get here early enough but then I had an hour before the sunrise I thought it would be plenty but you can see that coming this late in the morning during the sunrise isn't necessarily ideal for UVC class so I'm gonna just hurry back and forth up this beach as such, seeing what I can see that pops out, run back to my vehicle where it is nice and warm and possibly do a sunrise time lapse and maybe even add it to this video at the end. But I will get back to you because now I'm in a hurry. Hopefully, I can find some more UVC glass last direction. Stick with me. Now I realize you can see it a little better but here in person you can't really see the black light with that beautiful sunrise in the background starting to come up. So I'm going to head back uh, to my vehicle. I did find another little piece of whether or not it's actual glass or plastic. I'm not sure because I was trying to do this pretty hurriedly. But I'm going to head back now down along this beach. See what it is I found. Perhaps catch a sunrise. And then who knows? Maybe look for some regular sea glass after all of this. Regardless, I want to thank everybody for watching. And even though I'm going to show you what I found when I get back to my vehicle, I'm going to leave you right here in this moment with the sound of the ocean. And the view of this gorgeous orange light basking on the water right at the edge. Just spectacular here in North Sydney, Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. Well, here I am in my vehicle. Still down here at Indian Beach, but at a different location. Uh, looking for a spot that's ideal for catching a beautiful sunrise this morning. And here I am. I was parked further down the beach, but I managed to come up here uh, to the end of the beach on the other side and find a good spot to park. As you can see, it's still a little dark, but uh, the sun is definitely on the rise. So I've set up my flashlight here and I've got the UV sea glass in my hand. But as you can see, only two of those pieces are UV sea glass, but just gorgeous specimens. That white piece actually turned out to be a piece of plastic. And that other piece looked a little purplish underneath the black light, but it turns out to be just white sea glass. And the black UV light will do that sometimes, play tricks on your eyes, make you think something's glowing when it really isn't. But when something is glowing, you can't help but see.
as you can clearly tell here in the palm of my hand, those two pieces are UVC glass. So not a whole lot, but then nevertheless, very exciting to find those here on the shores in Cape Breton Island. I wanna thank everybody for watching. And please, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, be safe.